margarine in a bowl, it's hard to make a bunch of noise. I think that's butter in that. Oh, I'm basement. sorry. I'm losing my mind. It is butter. Ain't it? Yeah. I melted a little bit of butter in a bowl. Chris is like, I gave you butter. I said, okay. All right, so we got a little bit of butter. We're just gonna make a um, cornbread for two. We're gonna make some cabbage and we've got a pork roast Chris smoked. So I am going to go ahead and start this up and you guys can watch. Here, Chris, you come around to the left. The left. <laughs> My left, you're right. Okay, and this cabbage can sit right here for a second. We're just gonna mix this up and get it in the stove right quick in the little stove. And then um, we'll get started. We're gonna put in a little bit of oil and a little bit of butter. And all we need is a cup of cornmeal mix. This is white lily. Where's my, there it is. White lily cornmeal mix. Buttermilk. Buttermilk cornmeal mix is kind of we buy. There you go. An egg. You can mix up cornbread in a flash. Can't you crazy? Mm -hmm. Nothing to it. And in the summer, you can just eat cornbread and milk for supper mm -hmm. and be satisfied. Most of the time. Lord, I just make the biggest mess. So, I'm just mixing that up. Today, for fun, I'm going to throw in some pepper. Because it'll be good. It's already got salt. Huh? It does, but not quite enough. For me. Hmm. That's just a little added touch from tea. Okay. Extra. So, make sure you get your white lily cornmeal. Self rising cornmeal. If you don't have self rising, I don't know what to tell you to do because I really don't know how much flour is in that, that cornmeal mix. Really, our cornmeal mix is just the flour and the uh, cornmeal's already together. They don't put a bunch of sugar or nothing like that in it down here. You need your mix. What, baby? You need your mix. I know. Oh. Um, come on around here, baby. Okay. Now, I've got the... Um, what are you doing? Oven. You need, need your mix in that thing. You oh. need to put the mix in there. Oh, Chris is getting on to me. I forgot to put the... I thought he meant I, I need to put my mix in the... My, my mixed-up mix. Yeah, we always kind of... Put a little cornmeal in a skillet, it makes it crunchier. About forgot. Can't forget, it won't be as good. Will it, Chris? Nope. He made sure I did it too. He's a cornbread nut. Chris knows how to make cornbread. Don't you, baby? Mm-hmm. All right, so we're gonna get this in our little skillet. And this is the 8 inch skillet, it's not the 6 inch. And we're going to put this in my oven, I've got it preheated and set. I'm going to have to close this to get back here, Mr. Nichols. Watch out, Happy. We'll watch it through the window. Oh, you are? Yeah. Well, that thing's down up high for some reason. Huh. Bible study page 
and he got a job at Carabas Italian restaurant. She's a hostess. She likes them a lot. Now I'm gonna sneeze. Okay. <coughs> Let's watch the pan. The pepper got in my nose. Mm -hmm. Told you about that pepper. Woo! Lord! Today we're making green stewed cabbage out of our cookbook. And I'm going to throw this down here in this bin and get it out of the way. I keep my oil in a little bin under there. That's what I do. And I keep my cornmeal on this top drawer. Simple and convenient. I'm just straightening up a little bit as I go. So I'm going to give this time to heat up a little bit. And it's getting there. So let's chop up this cabbage. Y'all ready? And we already got our meat ready, so that's all we got to do is the cabbage. Yeah, I know. It's easy. <laughs> it's an easy supper. And I'm going to slice up uh, some tomato to go with mine on my plate. That's what I mean. Now, when we do cabbage, we use a little butter, a little bouillon, I think salt and pepper, and that's about it. Um, I've had a lot of people make this cabbage. Matter of fact, Scott Duvall put it on the Colored Valley Cooks group page a couple of days ago. And if you're used to putting a lot of stuff in your cabbage and you haven't done it this way, it's really tasty. Um, We'll go ahead and drop this butter in our skillet and let it be melted. So you're going to use a half stick of butter or margarine, whichever one you like to use. What? Yes, it is. I don't want that butter to burn either. And this is in our second cookbook. All right. I use a, a cup of water and one bouillon cube, or you can use the granules. And this is the granules, but I'm just going to pour them in there. Keep me showing that so you can see it. What? So. Oh, yeah. And then I'm just going to mix it up and pour it into the cabbage after I saute it for a minute. Okay? Let me get something else. And this is a cast iron wok, so yes, it sometimes is. people wonder why she uses a spoon or something with it. It's because it won't. It's cast iron. A lot of people don't believe it's cast iron. They think it's coated. And it's really cast iron. It'll it'll rust just like cast iron does. Alright. I'm gonna put a little pepper on it. This bouillon's got the salt. You're going to turn it up and cook it on high. And it will cook until that reduces in the bottom. And as it reduces, it'll steam the cabbage. And it gives it a really good flavor. A lot of the people like to put um, different things in their cabbage, like bacon grease and stuff like that. And um, you can still do that. But I would urge you to try this because it's a little bit, not a whole lot better for you. Some people can't have bullion though, but now we love it. 
actually love bullion. And if you've got fresh stock, then use some fresh stock. I actually do. I've got beef and chicken in my refrigerator. <laughs> but I love that bullion. So we're using it. Matter of fact, I put bullion in my stock, huh, my friends? Yeah. I just like it. I do. So we got our cornbread going. Got our cabbage going. And now, we just have that up on high. I could have made a dessert. You know it? Okay. You got something you wanna? I do, I've got go something. There. You want me to? Go for it. Okay. Cause we got- That's on high. Well, we got another 15 minutes probably with we this cornbread. and What do you think with the cornbread? Probably, and the, yeah. So you got a little bit of time. Uh, you want strawberry, just a short, strawberry shortcake? It don't matter. Because I've got some cake in that other freezer. Whatever you want, yeah, that'd be good. Okay. And there she goes. That cabbage really is good, like that. And we already have a pork roast. I'm not going to open that yet. It's still warm a little bit. I cooked it. I smoked it. Whipping cream. We'll throw it in the freezer real, real quick. Okay. And, and then we'll beat it up. She just happened to have a, I got a, cake, a layer. cake layer. How lucky is that? and put it in the refrigerator. So we'll use it. Won't we, darling? Mm -hmm. And we got some pretty strawberries that I'll rinse off. So that's just a white layer? Um, yes, it is. Okay. It's actually the layer that was left on that little pound cake that I made. Remember, and I iced with fudge icing? Oh. And I only used two of the layers. Yeah. And I Froze the other one. Hmm. That. I think all my paring knives are in the dishwasher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I found one. Oh my goodness. My cats want to eat. So I'm just going to slice these strawberries up. We'll put a little bit of sugar on them and zap them for one minute in the microwave and that'll automatically they'll have juice some good juice from it and then after we do that um we'll throw these in the freezer for a second so that they're not so hot coming out of the microwave to go on our dessert for supper after supper And that cabbage is starting to steam a little bit if you want to show it to them. I guess y'all can see the steam. Yeah, I'm sure y'all can see that steaming. Do you want a lid on it? Or I guess you no. don't need a lid, do you? Because no. you're cooking it down. You want it to reduce? Yeah. These are really good strawberries. I got these strawberries at Aldi the other day. And they're really good. Sweet. Look good. Strawberries are good. We're having a good hot day. It's so hot here. And it's been hot enough. Well, yesterday we got a good rain. But today I don't think we've got any rain yet, have we? No. I don't. I mean, it rained a little bit yesterday. I don't think it rained very much. This one's about green on the autumn. 
part of it, I guess. I'm not using that real green part. Well, this one's good and ripe. So when you do strawberries, like some people do like them to be in bigger pieces like this, but now when I zap it, I'll smash them a little bit because I do like for them to be in the smaller pieces when they're on the plate. They're not as pretty for a picture, but they sure are good that way. And this will be enough for me and Chris. We're the only ones here today. Okay. Now we're going to take a little sugar. We'll put on them. And I'm just going to put them in the microwave for one minute. should work with one minute. Sometimes it has to go like a minute and a half or so. We'll see. You want some blueberries or just the strawberries? No, nah, just strawberries. To, to boil off the water and by the time it's done the cabbage is soft it gives it just enough to steam it it works all right they're smoking and then I typically take this and I smash them a little bit like so strawberries and you haven't used them and you need to use them go ahead and do this to them and put them in the freezer in a bag or a little container and that way you'll have strawberries ready uh, for whatever you want to use them for didn't do a good job cleaning the mixer before they put it back up. Now what I like to do is when you first start doing it, you can't cover it up.
I will put just a dab of uh, vanilla in it and a tiny bit of sugar. Don't that look good? Mm -hmm. See, when you throw it in the freezer for a second like that, it gets good and cold, and then the container's good and cold too. It whips up quick. I'm just going to throw a tiny bit of sugar in it. Not much. You got to be careful and don't overbeat it, or it'll turn into butter. <laughs> when it's fresh like that. All right. Let's see. How do we want to do this, Daddy? Let's just do half the cake. Okay. Since uh, we don't want to waste any of it, because we might want to make another dessert with it. Good idea. That's one good thing about having cake. Cake is even better when it's after it's been frozen. It gets softer. It really does. And um, so you can take, you know, your extra layer and wrap it up and freeze it and then just use half of it again. We can have a coconut cake with this part. Mm -hmm. The next time we want a quick dessert like what we're doing tonight, um, it's nice to have them handy and ready. Yeah, if it's just you and somebody else, you can make you a layer cake, save a layer out and have two or three desserts out of it. Yeah, that's true. Do this. Do what? The cake. Oh, I don't know. Well, let's do it like this. This is really cold. Hmm. Gonna make them round, huh? Mm-hmm. Look at that. Fits right in there. Oh, wait. That's the top. You put both tops on the bottom. Now, you can do one of these for um, Fourth of July coming up, too, and use some blueberries in it. This is done. It's ready for supper. See, look at it. It's perfect. That's how we like our cabbage. Just like that. And you can let it sit in here a little longer. It's got just a tiny bit of juice, so it can sit here just a minute longer. But it's almost ready, and it's going to start to sizzle. <clears throat> My girls are wanting supper tonight. Okay, any, mini money, mo. Let's put the strawberries, let them soak into the cake first. Mm. Nice dessert. It's going to be big. Y'all probably thought... We're going to get a big serving. And if we don't eat it all, we can stick it back in the refrigerator and eat the rest of it tomorrow. Okay. Oh, I was supposed to put the cake on I was going to say, I don't, what are you doing? I'm losing my mind. <laughs> what are you trying to do? All right. Look at that. Now that one's got more strawberry underneath it. Yeah. About yeah. to overflow here. Too much. Never too much. 
we will eat it all. I'm not going to give that one as many strawberries as I give this one. Mm -hmm. My cabbage is starting to talk to me. Turn it off. When y'all hear that, y'all can turn it off. Or something in I the can have it with freezer. blueberries. Oh, okay. This could be a blueberry one tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'll wrap it up good. Good idea. Okay. For now, it's going there. We're going to clean off our cabinet and make us a plate for supper. Where's our cornbread? Uh, Is it done? Looks like it's pretty close to being done. Yeah, I'd, I'd say it's probably done. It's in the neighborhood. Let's get it out. It's hard to tell in that oven because it's kind of, you can't tell the color of it good. You gonna look at me through the glass? Yeah, I'll look at you through the glass. Oh, it's way done. I'd say it's way done. That's done. It had a minute and 37 seconds left on oh. it. I think it said on 25 minutes. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. Simple supper. Now we're going to carve our roast and eat. This is a pork loin. Ooh, that looks good. It smells good. And all we did, if y'all want to know what we did, that spice smells good, don't it? Yeah, we used, which yeah. one was it? That second one to the left. This one. We put this on it. Gourmet collection, splice blends, roast vegetables, and fries. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty spicy. It smelled really good. We've never tried it before. And then we put some kosher salt and some... Looking for my carbon knife. I'll get to it I don't think we put any pepper. I think it was just the salt. And I coated it with oil and then I smoked it. On 300, I think for about, what, about three hours, maybe? Yeah. 300 for about three hours. Boy, it smells good. Now, it's going to look pink, but it is done. That's how pork looks when you smoke it, just like a ham does. Got that smoke ring. There. Yeah. Now we cook it, I think, to about 175 degrees, something like that, I think. I so it, it. it looks like a ham does, as far as the color. It does, don't it? Yeah. Looks good, don't it? Mm-hmm. It's pretty juicy, ain't it? Mm-hmm. Oh. It's nice. All right, let's make a plate. Do it. I'll cut this whole tomato up on mine. Okay. So, for supper, we have ham. No. No, not ham. It looks like ham. Pork loin. Pork roast. It's pork loin roast. Okay. Real quick. A tomato for me. Those nice are interested. Of heaven right here. More bread. And it's good and crunchy. On top. Yep. It's crunchy. Hard for y'all to tell. All right, let's put some cabbage on the plate. And 
and we'll give it a try. So there's the plate. Looks good. I'm gonna turn it around and let you see it with the cabbage. Hmm. There you go. There's the dessert over there waiting. And our dessert. Well, you can't beat that, can you? Everybody's ready to eat. The dogs are ready. The cat's meowing. Everybody eats at supper time. All right. So, I'm going to try this. Poor Louie. I kept trying to call it. It looks so much like a ham. I keep calling it ham. And it's not a... Boy, it's soft, ain't it? Mm -hmm. I love smoked meat. I love chicken on a smoker, too. A whole chicken... That's good. Our cabbage. Homegrown tomatoes. And cornbread. I like cornbread milk with tomatoes in it. That's good stuff. Wait a minute, but don't you turn that off. <laughs> he turned it. Yeah. Okay. Just changing hands. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to get a bite of cake. You are? Yes. Ahead of yourself. You get ready for this. We weren't even planning to make the cake. Mm -mm. But look, you can throw something like this together really quick for your family for dessert. You can also do a pie super fast and easy most of the time. For dessert but this is a homemade pound cake that we just happen to have some in the freezer he's following me up to my mm -hmm. mouth mm. delicious <laughs> Woo! I could just eat this no y'all have a wonderful day and thanks for watching Colored Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did. Bye, y'all. Love ya.